the shift or shift down into the smallest cog in the back or your hardest one. When you removed your rear wheel, you had lined up the cassette in the smallest cog. Start by placing your bike and line the chain up there and slide the bike on to the kicker, on the kicker axle after you've lined that up. Yeah, the as tight as you would tighten your rear wheel. Where's the fucking kickstand on this thing, huh? The Where's the kickstand? <laughs> Resistance. Okay, I gotta take the back wheel off. Okay, just kind of guessing. I really know how to do this. I gotta put these on these. I know bike people are probably cringing right now, but I don't know how to do this. How to take back wheel off triathlon bike. And then you can slide one of the things. And, um, I think it's Let's see if I can do Yeah, no, I know. That's what I said. What's yes, going on? <laughs> oh my god, this is so fucking hard. I wish I had a thing that I could. There we go. How the fuck do you do this? All right, got one cleat on, except for this fucking thing. Why won't, what is this? This is the most frustrating fucking thing in the world. <sighs> I hate this. Like, I, it snaps in, and then, oh, no, never mind. Yes. 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 Aha. I don't know how I'm going to get that thing back on. Now I got it. Because they're not the right ones. Well, that was just a little lighthearted joke that I was trying to, oh. to do. Sorry. In the box, we're going to be okay. looking at all the technicals that actually means to you as the user. All right. All right, I think I did it. All right, folks, we have a breakthrough. We're on the home stretch here now. Ready? Oh, it's so hard. That feels really hard. So is the front wheel supposed to be like locked down or? There we go. We're getting it. How frustrated was I just now? It wasn't very pleasant, but that's okay. I think I stripped the screws now. All right. <laughs> is that on now? Oh. <laughs> You know what the worst part is? I don't even know if these are the right ones for the pedals. Could be the wrong ones. Hey, check it out. Can you, can you see me? It took me like an hour to put the cleats on the shoes. It took you an hour. It's not that hard. It is hard. Moment of truth. Oh! Oh! <laughs> What's good? That baby's clipped in. Look at that. You see? Hello? Cody. Yeah? I'm looking at your desk. I don't know what to do. It's too, this room's too small. There, is that straight enough? Yeah, but your your camera, you didn't set it so that it's horizontal. I mean, it auto detects. I can't set my phone to a certain, like it should just. Well. How's that? Does that work? Fucking, I'm on my way to mounting my steed here. Where are ya? Nope, nope. Come on! Do you have bike shorts, first of all? Yeah. Aha! Do you want me to put my cleats on, too? You mean your shoes? Whatever. Yeah, your shoes. Damn. Sick. Oh, fuck! That's gonna take some getting used to. I almost just totally ate shit. This seat is so uncomfortable. Dude, I am so dreading this. Make sure that the seat is the right height. I don't think it is. That's So now I've got to figure out how to get this thing off. There's a button. There we go. Got it. Go. That was easy. Ah, how, how much do I loosen them? Dad? <sighs> wow, this sucks. All right, folks. Only took two hours, but we're set up for a bike ride. I have a gigantic moose knuckle right now. Oh, God, these bike shorts. I'm not going to show you, but, you know, you got to trust me. There's some serious moose knuckleage going on right now. All right, we're set up. Let's go for a ride. Let's go! Not quite done.
Apparently, you gotta download the app on here, connect the whole thing. Of course, you don't just buy the wind trainer. You gotta pay for the monthly fucking thing too. Seven hundred dollars for that wasn't enough. How do I find you, Wahoo? Wahoo! There we go. Connected. We're doing it, folks! Wow, this fucking seat hurts. Ooh! Okay, let's go. Let's go. This is sick. I'm riding along the fucking Tour de France course right now, and it's like adjusting my shit automatically. Holy fuck! Can I make it easier? Oh my god. This sucks. It's kind of fun, though. Ugh. I don't know what any of these numbers mean. We're cruising downhill, baby. Oh no, we got intervals. Oh shit. Something's going on. Okay, folks, I was switching gears the wrong way. Oh, I'm really dumb. I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna figure it out. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Well, oh, I like it. You can pedal along to the cadence. Uh, 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 uh. It just said it looks like you're ready for some real suffering. What the fuck does that mean? What is this dumbass song? <sighs> Here comes the second climb. Get your form together. You've got work to do. Oh shit! My ass is already bruised. Swear to G. Ah. Still trying to figure out these gears. Fucking hell, bro. That was hard. All right, 15 miles, 52 minutes. All like the text that shows up is all like really like edgy. This is a PSA from the Department of Couchlandia or something like that. It's some guy on a couch. That's funny. I gotta say that was pretty fun, but biking is still dumb in my opinion. Cyclists, sound off in the comments how you thought my ride went 15 miles and 53 minutes. I don't know, I'll, I'll post a screenshot of my stats after. Let me know how my form is. It's a dumb sport, but I kind of like it. I like how that felt. I said my junk hurts and my ass. My ass and my junk hurt. Is that normal? Cyclists, sound off in the comments if your junk and your ass hurts. Oh, fuck. Hi, good morning. We're going to rip another bike ride today. Another indoor cycle. And uh, this one's about two hours, so I got to fuel up. Guess I'm gonna eat a banana. A little almond butter. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> Delicious. Oh, you got a little bit of almond butter, huh? Congrats. So my dad gave me an Iron Man training plan because he's done 5,000 of them. So I have that, but I found a coach two that I want to work with as well because he's local and he's part of like a whole training organization here and I want to like get more involved in the community and stuff like that so and he he also like does a lot of work and breaking down exactly what workouts I'm gonna do each day which I don't really want to think about he gave me my first workout for this morning and it's like a it's like a basically an FTP test to figure out my what my uh like baseline wattage is I guess I remember I used to do this stuff on Peloton <laughs> When I used to Peloton a lot, I used to do the FTP test, so I'm familiar with it. It's basically like you just got to go all out to figure out how strong you are. And then, you know, that's that gives you your kind of baseline, and then you, week by week, you try and increase that. And then, like, I think you do another test every couple weeks or whatever to see how your fitness is progressing. So I'm going to do that this morning, and then I basically, he assigned me, like, another hour-long ride. So I'm just downloading the software right now because he uses different stuff. And then I'm gonna hop up, hop back on the bike. A uh, triathlete, yeah. Um, full distance, baby. Tuesday morning, busting down on another ride. Time to rip it. Where the fuck did my water go? Where did I just put my water? What the actual f? I just brought it up here. Am I? It's a green bottle. Am I missing it? Somewhere right in front of my face. Connected. There we go. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Now I got.
gotta find my fucking water. Aha! The bibs are on. Training FTP test. FTP test, ramp test. Put on my shoes. Come on. God damn. Sick of the bullshit, you yeah? know? All right. I'm getting on the bike. So much fucking bullshit. Am I gonna start this one too? No. Ow. My fucking ass hurts from yesterday. Oh, my ass hurts so bad from yesterday. Jesus fucking Christ. We're at 180 watts. Nine minutes into this test, it's starting to feel it a wee bit. 200 watts. 220. Woo! Uh, let's go. 260. 260 watts. God damn, it's hard now. We're slowing down, boys. We're slowing down. Uh, come on. Keep going. Ah. Uh, I can't. I can't. Ah. Uh, on toes. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, 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 uh. Gotta cool down. Fucking God. God damn, that sucked. 210 is my FTP. I don't know if that's good. Doesn't feel that good. That sucked. That really sucked. Oh, we did it. First real training ride. Oh, we did an FTP test and then I just did an hour and four minute ride with like zones and I don't know. Got harder and then easier and then harder and then easier and I just sat here and did it. It's pretty boring, but it feels good to finally be on the bike. So, <sighs> fuck. Chin and shine towel? Yeah. All right, it is 5.58 in the morning. It's Wednesday morning, time for another ocean swim. Little bit nervous. Just a wee bit, but we gotta do it. We ought to do it. Oh, what the fuck is that? What the fuck? Why is that in the middle of the road? My cats have been waking me up, and I gotta be honest, it is pissing me off. These fucking cats, it's like, no matter how early I'm planning on waking up, you know the fucking, you know, like, cats, they'll make bread, they'll make biscuits or whatever, they like, knead dough, they put their both little paws down, they go, mm, 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 mm on stuff and it's really cute when you're awake it's cute when you're like chilling there and they come up and they make bread on you and you're like oh it's so good I'm making bread it's cute right but 15 minutes before i'm gonna wake up no matter what time it is it's always 15 minutes right before it's always like that last little bit of sleep they'll come upstairs and they'll make bread on the carpet right outside the door like i can hear it and they'll scratch on the door and they'll put their little fucking paws underneath the little crack in the door so if I go over there, it's like four paws, just like, I don't even know how they do it. How do they get their paws upside down and through the thing? Like they must be, they must be on their backs outside the door. Like Meh. it's look, it looks so funny though. These little paws coming out like, Meh. Meh. but it's just this morning, 5.15, 5.15 they did it. Five, how did they know? How did they know I was going to wake up at 5.30? How did they know? Cause yesterday it was 5.30. 45 and I wanted to wake up at 6. Why couldn't they wait until 545 today? I don't understand. They're too smart. They're too smart. They know it. They sense it and they want their food and they're so fucking food obsessed. It's crazy. I, other cats are not like this. I don't get it. I think they take after their pops. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I actually feel pretty good. Honestly, I had a good sleep. So let's get this ocean swim done. Ocean swim finished. These are my stats right here. So it's the furthest I've ever gone in the ocean. And uh, they're also the fastest. So that's cool. This is cool because right now I'm seeing a lot of like beginner gains. When you first start something, you get better very quickly. So that's cool. It was really hard still. Like, it's just like scary swimming in the ocean every time. The first lap that I do, it's like traumatizing every time. It's like, just such an exercise and calming myself down and, and just like telling myself that I'm good. And then by the second lap, it's, you kind of get into that flow state. So that's cool. It's very like meditative swimming is because there's nothing else you can do. I had a second workout today. My new coach gave me a run. So that's what I'm doing right now. I actually, I almost shit my pants on the way home. I'm not proud to say it, but 
It's the closest I've been to shitting my pants in years. So that was not a really good start. So I shit and then I ate a bar that was high in fiber. So, you know, that's setting in right now. I feel like I'm working on another one. And now I'm out for a run. It's a 50 minute run, 10 minutes easy. And then 40 minutes at about 8.50 pace. So that's where I'm at right now. And as you can tell, it's easy. Now I'm struggling. I'm gonna stop filming because it's fucking hard to talk. Jesus Christ. Holy fuck. That was fucking hard. Oh man, that was hard. Boys cruising on the sidewalk with the bird. Love when people do that. That was hard. That required a lot of mental whatever. So much of just telling myself to fucking keep going. Man, two workouts in one day and back to back. It's not a joke. I gotta eat better, I think. I had a bar, but I don't think it was enough because I got hungry like two miles in. Sorry, I had to stop filming because that, that bird guy really pissed me off. <laughs> I forget what I was saying, but uh, anyways. Oh, I think I gotta eat better. I was just, I was hungry and so it made me, made the run harder. This morning I had a banana before I swam and then I had a some sort of bar that I bought at, at a coffee shop. And then I just had another banana. So it's probably not enough. Uh, I'm gonna have a bigger lunch though. Maybe I'll show you that and then any, any people that know about nutrition can, you know, tell me what I'm doing wrong. All right, time for lunch. Salmon, spinach, feta, I don't know, some tomatoes, I guess. Just mash it up, right? And that, folks, is how you make Cody's bad. And that, folks, is how you make Cody's bad salad. So I'll leave the recipe down below. Not gonna do that because you don't wanna make this. It sucks. Yo! That is not bad at all. Dare I say this might actually be good. Oh my God. Maybe I will leave the recipe below. I mean, you saw the recipe. So, no, I'm not gonna do that. I thought, um, I thought maybe you guys should see this. That was me in April. It's a lot for me to even show that. I mean, I hope I look different now. <laughs> I hope that you're not looking at that being like, wait, what, what changed? I don't, oh good. Why is this sponge right here? This is their new thing, I guess. Drag the sponges off the sink. You don't get any of this. Don't even, this is this is Cody's bad salad and it's for humans, not for cats. It's fire though, you would love this. Look at look at how aggressive that he is. He, just he. She's not that bad, but. And now he's going for the sponge. Don't even, I love you, but don't even, what are you trying to eat what's in my, my breath? I love you, but you gotta relax. Cody's bad salad is good. Folks, I didn't film dinner, but it was boring. It was rice, leftover rice from last night, leftover chicken, and some sweet potatoes. And I just doused it in hoisin sauce and ate it as a little Asian bowl. Kelsey's was rice and pasta sauce and fake chicken. Okay. And no, it no, actually no. It looked was like good. It, it was, no, no, it I'm saying. Smug? I'm saying, don't spray me. It looked gross this? though. And I was like, It looked me. so gross. Ah! <laughs> Don't squirt on um, no. Sorry. Anyways, uh, it's time for dessert and I'm about to have a frozen cookie that I made. Look at how perfect these are. That's a perfect cookie right there. A little bit too brown on the side. But... Look at, look at, they're beautiful. <laughs> it's bigger than your head. You're like a cookie girl. <laughs> Just evenings in the, in the household. In our matching shirts. I was gonna say the collagenic household. <laughs> Soon. Our wedding date is... No, <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to polish this off. And then I'm going to play with some AI stuff tonight. So I'm kind of excited. And then we're going to watch a movie. Mm -hmm. That's it. I'm so tired from two workouts. It's hard. I'm wiped. And then I have a full day of writing and recording and meetings. So I'm wiped. Tomorrow we got a bike. So I'll see you then. Mmm! Ladies and gentlemen, 
Friday, it's Thursday. We're back on the bike. Ass hurts so bad. Sitting up like this really hurts. I gotta, there we go. That's better. Uh, still getting used to this, but we're doing it, you know? Just not sure if I like it yet, you know? All right, 170 watts. Just not sure what to do. Music, podcast, I don't know. Audiobook. I got this thing going. So I like see other people, I don't know what the deal is with that. Am I supposed to like pass them or still getting used to all the numbers and everything? So we're feeling good. Feeling good though, got a good sleep. Cats woke me up at 4.45 this morning. So it's just getting 15 minutes earlier every morning. Sick trend. I'm looking forward to like not even going to bed because they're scratching at the door. So I put them in the office and then I was able to sleep for another like hour. So that's good. So I feel well rested. Time to fucking grind this out. Ah, hustler's mentality, baby. Morning routine, 4.45, wake up because of the cats, not by choice. 4.45 a.m. to 5 a.m., put the cats in the office. 5 a.m. to 6 a.m., go back to sleep. 6 a.m. to 8.30 a.m., fuck around with AI art. <laughs> 8.30 to 9.40, crush a bike ride. That's the hustler's routine, baby. All right, folks, let's finish the main set. It's been an hour and three minutes. I got a three minute cool down now. I talked to my mom for like 40 minutes. That was my saving grace today. Cause otherwise I would have been bored out of my mind. But we did it. We got it done. We finally got the work done. Now it's time to go work. Nah, I'm stoked. I'm gonna bake Kelsey. I think her favorite dessert ever is chocolate chip cookies. And her birthday is on Saturday. So I'm gonna bake her a cookie cake. So it's gonna be like a pizuki sort of like, but like a thick ass cookie. A big ginormous one inch thick cookie. One inch is as big, right? So I'm gonna go get some uh, supplies for that today. I think she's actually going out today. So I might try and bake it while she's not here. All right, we're done. Thank you for joining me. A little bike short cake right there. Here it is. Happy birthday. Thank you. I put these in, but they didn't connect, so I can't hear anything. So if I'm talking loud, just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching another episode of Cody Trains. I'm about to hop back on the bike, unfortunately. It's Monday morning. I got an hour and 50 minute ride this morning. I also woke up at 4.30 a.m. and trained with a trainer at 5 a.m. That's another story for another video or something. I'll explain that in a podcast or something. I don't even know how that happened, but uh, we're here. We got to put in some time right now. And I'm really looking forward to it. Not really, though. I'm actually dreading it. Hour and 50 minutes. It's going to be boring. So I'll see you uh, next week. Let me know what you thought of this one. I totally forget if I even filmed anything. We'll see. See you next week. Keep training. And always remember, choo-choo. Thomas the Tank Engine. All right. Cheers. Cheers.